Da gebe ich an. Ja, tja. Ja, ready? Und zu dir. Ja. Cheers. Change your mind about going this weekend, then? Eh? Yeah, yeah, I got a better deal going now. Uh, are you, um, you gonna be around for Valentine's? Uh, maybe. Why? Well, I've, um, got a lot of surprise to Tina. It'd be good if you're there. We'll try. Yeah, I'll help you itch. Oh, jeez. You got it? Yep. Yeah. Right. See you at the weekend, then. Have a good trip. I don't suppose sorry's going to help, is it? No. <sighs> Lee, I... Lee. Where's Simon? George and Eves. <coughs> what can you remember? I want to remember. Can we talk about this, please? Oh, well, yeah. We can talk. But not now, because I might say something we'll both regret. Set. Yeah, on my way. What are you looking at? No. You said you were ready ten minutes back. I just want to make sure I've got everything. Marbles. Hey? Well, I thought you must have lost them, considering you're going sailing in February. Yeah, and I thought you'd be glad to have the house to yourself for a few days. Don't even think of a party. Oh, well, I didn't, but now that you mention it. Don't let him wind you up. Come on, let's get off. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> just, just ignore it. It might be work for you. Yeah, right. Hello. It's for you. Hello? Nick. It's Nick. Hello, love. Everything all right? Won't be a minute. We'll not shift to no golden boys on phone. Yeah, wait till he came in. Yeah, we talked. I don't know how much of it he'll remember. He's in the shower now, feeling very sorry for himself. George, we let you down. Both. I'm sorry. I've told you. There's no need to apologise. Yeah, there is. Because Peter only did it for my sake. How's Simon? He's fine. I'll come over later, see how things are. Right, well, we'll be here. Bye. How is she? Shell-shocked. But compared to last night, the Titanic was a success. At least he got launched. Do you know, I... I don't think she had an inkling that he was... You know. So, what happens now? Frankly, I haven't got the faintest idea. Well, Daddy will know why there aren't any dinosaurs today. A film he was watching last night. Oh, right. My Daddy knows everything. When he picks me up from school, I'll ask him. Uh, it might be me picking you up from school, or it could be Nana Eve. Why? Because your dad is not very well. Will we catch it? No, 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 don't you worry. Can I go and see him then if we're not going to catch it? Um, oh, look at the time. Uh, it's uh, school time, little man. Now, do you want me to take you in my car or Nana Eve's? Yours. Ellis and Ben think it's cool. <laughs> he can't just do that. I mean... As a tenant, you've got rights. Have, have you seen a solicitor? Uh, listen, love, we're just uh, off to the latest room for uh, a few days. 
I can always cancel if you need me here. Are you sure? Yeah. OK, love. Well, I've got my phone with me, so let me know. And uh, your grand's always here if you need a sweetheart. All right. Yeah. You too. I'll see you. Bye. Right. You ready? Where are you going? <clears throat> to find out how things are with Peter this morning. Oh, he's probably sleeping it off. You should get some rest and all waiting up till all hours. Oh, you know what I'm thinking, don't you? If only someone had listened to me. Exactly. Don't worry, love. I'm sure everybody's thinking the same thing. You know, maybe it'd be better if I went. <laughs> I'm hardly going to go in there saying I told you so. No, no, but the way Peter's feeling, seeing you might just set him off again, you know, guilt, embarrassment, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. OK, but tell him that... Uh... <sighs> tell him I just want to know he's OK. You know, there is one good thing in all this. Really? My mother's in Portugal. Oh. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, come on. Nick's a grown man. He can sort out his own problems. Try telling her. We're never too old to need our mothers sometimes. If it makes you feel any better, I'll phone him tonight. It does, Tom. Go on and have a lovely time. <laughs> we will. I want to get the boat on the lake whilst it's still daylight. She seems to tell me mum about Nick. And now you have. Right, see you. Yeah. Oh, um... I know you haven't always thought too highly of me. That's because you care so much about Gail. But I just want you to know that I do too. Oh, it is sweet. I thought you were setting off first thing. Yeah, so did he. <laughs> oh, OK, you're going to the Lake District, not around the world. Yeah, well, love you, kid. Time to go. Ta-ta. Bye, love. Bye. Bye. Ooh. You fit to work? Not really, love, no. It's tough. You better get opened up. Well, can't you do it? Lee. I've got to do some apologising. I've got to make a lot of apologies, Lee, to a lot of people. Who do you people. think wants to speak to you today? Anyway. We need to keep one business going as a bar's on starter now. Love, where are you going? Anywhere where I don't have to look at you. Oh, uh, hiya, Janice. I could swing for you. Look, just, just You know, it's not it. long since Arlie Ann couldn't walk up and down this street without folk looking at her like she were mug. How many of them had a took on an elkie and a kid? I oh, know. And just when something seems to be going right for her, you put a bomb under it. I said I'm sorry. Oh, shove your apologies. I hope she said the same to you. Morning. Joe in. Sorry. This about the house. You uh, expecting him back? What are you that came and view the place, wasn't it? Yeah, sorry, man. It's off the market now. <laughs> Was that a yes or a no? Also, it's not about the house. Where can I find him? Why, well, he's got away for a few days. A few days? Yeah. You some kind of man. Give him a message, will you? Tell him whenever he's back, I'll be waiting. What's this about? Just give him the message, eh? And tell him Rick's not happy. OK.
What's up? Did that post me fall? What did he want? We're doing outside the house? Yeah. Uh, he was asking after your dad. Why do you know him? What did he say? Just been through this with him. I asked him a question, he don't answer, just asks another one. Now you're doing it. Right, it's important. What? He came to view our house a bit back yeah. and turns out he's mates with your dad. And I bet neither of them mentioned that when he viewed your flat either, did they? We couldn't be more wrong if you tried. Well, there's something going on. You wouldn't chase me halfway down the street for no. Dad owes him money. Yeah, and he'd lend Joe money. Not a loan shark. Yeah. Who knows where he lives? And Joe's legged it to the lakes, leaving me on my own. Yeah, great. How much? I, I, I don't know a lot. And does my mum know? Yeah, it, it'll be okay. I'll sort it out. What, like he sorted out his drug addiction by breaking into the medical centre? Yeah. I feel so reassured. Good, you know. Really good. You meant what you said then, about giving it all up. Peter couldn't cope. You can still do it. Without him. But I'm not gonna. We've still got the bucky, so it's not the end of the world, is it? Well, you won't have that much longer if he doesn't open up. You are? It's shut. I've just seen two punters walking away. <sighs> it's laying it out. We've got visitors. Oh, afternoon. Hi. Uh, we live across the bay. We saw you putting the boat in. Yeah, I thought we'd get out on the water whilst it's quiet. You do right. Not many around this time of year. I'm Jane, by the way. This is Mark. Gail and Joe. She's Gail. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested, there are a couple of pubs in the village. Forget the broth. Farm's nags the best. Decent food. Yeah, good beer and all. We'll probably be in there ourselves later. Well, thanks for the tip. I might see you there. Uh, lake first, madam. Oh, uh... Not too keen on water. <laughs> Still, first time for everything. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Oh, they were nice. A bit noisy. Grumpy. <laughs> Want me all to yourself, do you? Absolutely. Ooh. What did you have in mind? Now. Ah. Oh. Unless you'd rather do it after dark. I feel right guilty now, but when I saw him, I couldn't resist giving him a piece of my mind. Well, I'm in no position to criticise Janice. They've done the same thing often enough. So do you think he'll be off getting blabbered again? Well, I'd like to think not, but I'll just check the flying horse and Leanna's gone to the Weatherfield Arms. Well, maybe he's out getting some fresh air, clearing his head. No, I don't believe that either. I mean, where do you think they go from here? Oh, it's going to be difficult. We both know how much this bar meant to Leanne. Well, he's just going to have to choose between Leanne and the bottle. And judging from his performance last night, I'm not so sure he can. Is that George? Yes, yes, Leanne rang him. He's come to help us look for Peter. Well, I'm sure he'll have a few choice words for him, if he's the one that finds him. I don't think I ever feel so alive as when I'm out on the boat like this. Don't take us too far, kid. <laughs> Just relax. You are kidding. You'll soon get used to it. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> Stop trying. When you're out like this, you forget everything. You could just point the boat over there. Sail away to a new life, eh? Mm. Don't tempt me. Why not? Turning. Watch out! <laughs> we call this fun. It's barking. <laughs> Any sign? No, looked all over. He's not answering his phone either. Is Simon all right? Eve's picked him up from school and taken him back two hours. 
I'm sorry you've been lumbered, George. I'm sorry about everything. It's all right. Come here. Come on. Be all right. We'll find it. You love her and a drink. Yeah, you did well. Mm. I must admit, I almost enjoyed it. Mm. Another couple of these, I might even talk about doing it again. You understand now what I mean? About forgetting your worries and cares when you're out there. <laughs> Too busy trying to stay alive. Cold wind, freezing water, that sail thing flying about. The boom. Yeah. Yeah, well, I bet whoever called it that had just been hit on the head by it. <laughs> I bet there was a swear word in front of the boom and all. <laughs> what would you give, though, to be able to turn your back on all the problems? Clean slate, start again. Well, who wouldn't want that? Confession time. No? Oh? I've been doing the lottery. <laughs> Don't tell me you've won. Oh, I wish. No. But I buy a ticket every week. Um, jackpot would be nice. But all I want is enough money to clear our debts. Clean slate, like you say. There is another way. Do away with me mother and inherit the salon. Disappear. I'm sorry. Like that canoe guy, the one who faked his own death. The one who was sent to prison, you mean? Well, he made mistakes. Having his photo on a Panama estate agent's website wasn't ever so clever. <laughs> I've been reading all about it. I'll keep on buying a lottery ticket. I am worth so much more to you, dead, than alive. I don't want you dead, Joe. Are you going to answer it? No. No, not now. Are you all right? Hmm? You'd have to manage for a few years. But down the line you get your lottery win. What on earth are you talking about? Faking my death. Gail, it is so easy. Gail, that phone call, it was the loan shark. He must know you haven't got any money. Tell him. Tell him when you start working, he can have his money. You think I haven't tried? Gail, this man is dangerous, and I owe him a small fortune. In fact, the lead's small. Right. You're going to the police. You can make them believe you, surely. I told you before, I have no evidence. It's my word against his. And if Rick found out... I'd end up in hospital. Or you would. You what? I don't even know the man. You showed him round the house. The first guy who viewed it? Yeah. Nice chap. And when he said he wanted somewhere smaller, you tried to get him interested in Tina's flat, do you remember? In the pub that night, you sent her off with him, alone. You mean he wasn't... At our boy? wedding, in the Rovers. The guy knows everything about me, Gail. And if I don't pay him... I won't have to fake my own death because he'll do it for real. No. He even took me it. van. And I still owe him thousands. And every week I owe him more. And once he realises he squeezed me dry, he'll make an example of me. Anyone else thinking they can get out of paying him? I'll go to the police. He'll just say, do you remember what happened to Joe McIntyre? And his wife? And his daughter? Why didn't you tell me this? Come here. Look. I go out to the lake, tonight. Tomorrow morning, you report me missing. The boat's found, 
No sign of me. Bodies have been lost in this lake before, never seen again. Oh, this is crazy. Train to Stranra first thing, then on to a ferry. A couple of hours, I'm in Belfast. I lie low in Ireland, the North, the Republic, wherever. Just so if there's anything in the local papers or the regional telly news, no one will recognise me. How will you live? I can get jobs for cash and I'll be setting up a new identity. Passport the lot. I have done loads of research on the internet. Joe, we've just got married. I'm happy. I know it's not A few perfect. weeks. When the dust settled, I'll be in touch. Let you know where I am. As long as it's somewhere nobody knows Joe McIntyre, we could be together as much as we want. You've been planning this for weeks. And you haven't heard the best bit yet. Life insurance, Gail. After seven years, they'll pay up. You'll not need your lottery win. As long as we're patient, we'll have enough money to last us forever. Don't you see? It's the answer to all our problems. <laughs> The drama continues at 8.30.